Right, we're back. Uh, today I'm going to make something for the JCB. So at the moment, um, we've got this headstock carrier that uh, used for moving bits around, but it's on like a clevis, which is like a double bit like that. And then you put a pin through the middle. And it's great for moving some bits and bobs, but like for the trailers, I need one that's like a hook. So I need to build like a frame with a bit that sticks out and then just a hook on it so I can just drive along, pick up a trailer, move it somewhere, and then put it wherever I want. And I thought it'd be pretty easy. So we're gonna start by cutting the JCB brackets out. So these are for the Q fits, we'll put two on the back, build a square frame, and then literally a bit of uh, box section sticking out with a hook in the end of it. And um, hopefully this will be a nice, quick, easy video. So hope you enjoy, and uh, let's get going. So these are our JCB brackets we've already got pre-saved. Uh, when we want another one, we'll just click on it. These are a few different types that we've got. Look, the, the bottoms are slightly different. We're gonna go for this one. So basically when the headstock comes round, it hits this bottom little bit just here I've added so that the pin will line up and go straight in. Um, we're on 25 mil thick steel now, the 25 to 30 mil thick steel range. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut four brackets out because I want it quite thick. I'm gonna put two 25 mil of these brackets together. So hopefully that's gonna work quite well. Weld them together, uh, putting them on there just like that. So. Is. Yeah, before we go cutting all these bits out, I just want to make sure that this fits. Like, and that's what that bit's for there, look. So it lines this hole up. So if I start it up now, hopefully that pin is going to go straight through there. Right, so this is a rear pickup hitch off the uh, back of a 300 odd horsepower tractor and um, it's been taken off because it's damaged and it's, it's sort of scrapped because if you look here, it's cracked. But we, we can weld that up and repair it. And um, my idea is that um, this is telescopic and uh, we're gonna be able to hook the trailers up. You see, if we just had a hook on the end, we'd sort of probably pick the trailers up and it could jump off Whereas this, because it's got a hydraulic ram inside, we can, um, we, we can connect it to the JCB if we want to. So we'd probably leave it out, like out here for moving stuff about. But if we wanted to move stuff about, you know, the other side of the yard, we'd be able to pull the hitch in and out to lock the trailer in. And um, I'm not sure if I might weld these together now, because these are pretty, pretty big. And I was gonna put them like that at the back, uh, because I need this to stick out forward slightly um, so that uh, with the other one at the moment I can only sort of turn the trailers not even 90 degrees maybe 70 degrees like when I'm backing them in the shed whereas this because I want this stuck out quite a way forward and this te will telescopic I'll probably be able to get the trailers right, right round to like 130 degrees so it's going to make things a lot better but I'm thinking we'll put these here like this like that so we'll be able to come along with the jcb pick it up on the headstock and then um yeah pretty easy really right we'll start um making some plates up and weld it all together and we'll go and give it a go if you ever use one of these before look this is a, a, a thermal camera. I got it off Amazon. You just sort of plug it in the end there like that. And then um, 
Now, you see how hot that is, look. Yeah, it's coming in like 100 and 150 degrees. So it's um, it's pretty good actually, this is. You know, it picks up a lot of stuff. I bought it for um, making sure the hay's not getting too hot in the hay shed, so you can just stand there and do that. But it's, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Right. Right, that's that done. That ain't going uh, nowhere. So uh, pleased with that. Um, we'll get it over and uh, start making some plates up now for this. Look at this, look. there's the welder. There's a the welding torch that's hot. And there's that that's red hot that I've just welded up. So it's uh, pretty good. Oh, what's that? what's that over there? Oh, that's my coffee, look. Let's pick that up all right, isn't it? case of uh, got to drill some more holes out for this bit um, no holes need to go in this one because we're going to weld all that on and then um, weld it all together two hydraulic pipes on here uh, on the ram that's inside so it can telescope in and out and hopefully that's going to be about it and it should be pretty strong I'm just looking at these again I think I'm going to have to put another one next to them because when I lift a trailer up that's full like with maybe 14 15 ton of grain in it it's not really gonna like it well they're all right but i'd rather just do it now and just sandwich one together and weld it up so it's really really strong We are going to join the two JCV brackets together because I just think it'd be better. So I'm just gonna tack it here and then we'll get a big G clamp and pull it all together. I ain't welding helmet on. There. 
Hello, Blake. two clamps you see look we're pretty tight we ain't gonna get much tighter than that so um I might get a bit of paper in there but it'll be all right oh. yeah that's a JCB bracket isn't it Measure it and make sure it's right. I'm going to put some big triangles just here just to brace it up and make it a little bit stronger. Um, but for now, we just need to get everything welded up and get it strong. And uh, then hopefully, hopefully this is going to work and it'll be uh, quite a handy little bit of kit. There we go, that was quite good that one. So that's what we're doing, getting all these joints welded up here, there and everywhere. And then like I say, hydraulic pipes are down here, which will come up and then go into the JCB and use them if we need to. So it's looking, it's looking pretty good actually. about it now what I should have done really was uh, cut some big holes just there like that and then weld them inside the hole so that it sticks them together but by the time I've welded all that lot up I don't think it's really gonna matter anyway so we're pretty much nearly there and you can see look that's the telescopic bit that comes out getting the pipes on so I'll just go and get the pipes made up and um, go and test it on a trailer and then put some paint on it and yeah pretty cool So, well, you can change these, so that pin comes out of there. And then we can change that to like a big ball one, like a shoe miller one, or um, put a double clevis one back in there. So that's how that works, um, nice and easy. So that is what we're looking like. The JCB will come along here like that, and then we'll have the headstock pointing like that, and then we'll be able to come along, telescope that out, and uh, pick a trailer up and pull it back in. Um, to be fair, I'll probably just leave it out all the time like that so I haven't got to plug the hydraulics in. And then uh, I could just move trailers where I want them. But like I say, if I need to lock them on, I can just pull it in and it'll lock them into where we want it to be. These are the pipes. Just do them up like that, look. So, 90 degrees. I was going to go 90 degrees and go up here through there because the pipes fit. But now the ends don't fit through, so I'm just going to have to go and get a clamp. And we'll put a nice hose clamp there. And it goes up to there through there and then they'll come out the top there because they plug in just here so we'll put them on put it on the jcb and go give it a go now you can see that's what it's all about and when we rock it round, we'll be able to telescope this out and pick our trailers up and move them.
much easier with the JCBs, park it. So yeah, you can see what we want it for now, moving the trailers about really quickly. Just pick them up, move them to where we want them, dump them. And uh, yeah, it's quite good actually. So right, we're gonna go have a bit of a go with it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and uh, we'll see you in the next video.